going on everybody? So today I decided I'm going to do a video, I've seen this come up a few times, as to why focus isn't quite where people thought it was going to be. And, uh, and then when you ask them what focus mode were they using, uh, they usually say they were using automatic focus mode. So I'm going to show you why using absolute autofocus uh, or automatic autofocus is not the best idea because the camera doesn't know specifically what you're focusing on and nine times out of ten it will pick up on the wrong things. So I'm going to show you what that does and why you should immediately get out of using the fully automatic auto select autofocus because it's usually pretty wrong. Okay, so what I'm going to be trying to do is focus on the Samsung symbol at the bottom of the TV there. Uh, now, fully zoomed in, it should actually pick it up. Oh, nope, it actually picked up the wrong spot. See those two green squares? Yeah, they should be just up into the left of there. Yeah, wrong spot again. Okay, let's uh, zoom out here and see what it picks up this time. Oh, not even close. Yep, not even close. Zoom in a bit. Ooh, way off. Okay, that one picked up the Samsung symbol there. Let's try that again. See, and that's the problem with using the fully auto-select autofocus mode where the camera tries to figure it out for, for you. Uh, now, the way the auto the uh, auto select autofocus works is it looks for the highest contrast areas and the closest location to the lens. So if there's anything that is outside uh, the same plane as your subject, the camera is not going to be able to pick that up. So normally, the settings that I use for autofocus is, uh, let's see here, uh, where's my menu, here we are. Yeah, I usually use select so I can actually pick um, the location for the focusing that I want. So, here we have that, and if I want to move it over somewhere else, I can always do that. Right? And let's go back, change this again. Oops. Let's see what it picks up this time. Oh yeah, way wrong, way wrong. And you can move the auto select over. So let's try going further this way. Oh, pretty close. Yeah. It seems to be picking up the same spot every time, but not quite the spot I'm looking for. So let's move this up. Oh, yeah, that's way off. Yeah, not quite what we're looking for here. Yeah, still way off. Let's try uh, moving the camera to change the angle a bit here. Yeah, still off. Still off. See what happens if... Uh, where that crosshair is right in the center should be on the bookshelf. Nope, picked up the couch instead. So there you go. That's why you should not actually rely on the fully automatic autofocus setting.